Hello, this is Mr. Chabry, and we are here with another narrated Pokemon battle. So this is going to be another battle against Rips Winter. And looking at my opponent's team, um, you'll notice my opponent actually has a theme with that team, um, Serpentine Pokemon. Um, so hopefully um, certain Pokemon on my opponent's team aren't going to be that much of a problem to me. Um, looking at my opponent's team, honestly my best lead is the Tapu Koko. Um, my opponent actually has... Um, two water types, the Gyarados and the Milotic, um, and Tapu Koko deals with those well. So I'm thinking Tapu Koko is the best lead. However, he leads off with the Dragalge, and I know Dragalge is usually bulkier. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and U-turn. That's the thing about this Tapu Koko. Instead of Volt Switch, I've got U-turn on it just in case my opponent has ground types. Um, and I'm going to use this as an opportunity to bring in my Garchomp. Um, looking at my opponent's team, um, Garchomp looks like it could actually do a lot of work later on. However, I don't want to lock myself into Outrage, so what I want to do is actually just go for an Earthquake here. Um, because the only thing my opponent could bring in is the Gyarados, or even the Superior to, you know, not take that much damage from the Earthquake, or none at all. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just Earthquake, you know. Um, it hits a lot of things pretty well, and it's going to be a two-hit KO on this Dragonair. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take it, um, the Dragonair really quick and we take it out um honestly i don't know what dragonair does i don't know if it's got eviolite because it took a lot of damage from that so yeah dragonair's uh pokemon uh, you don't see that often usually you see dragonite but the gyarados is going to come back in and we see the intimidate um i'm pretty sure this is my opponent's mega if my opponent has brought a mega um because it's the only thing that can mega evolve and i'm going to go into my toxapex um toxapex does have the haze um, so if this thing goes ahead and tries to set up a Dragon Dance, we just we just haze away those stat boosts. Um, and we do see that this is a Mega Gyarados, um, and it's got the Mold Breaker. Um, so if anything on my team has Levitate, um, Earthquake's still going to hit us. Um, but the good thing is, I don't have anything with Levitate, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, but Toxpex doesn't want to take an Earthquake that much, um, but it is a very bulky Pokemon, so even at plus one, this Earthquake will not be enough to take out the very bulky Toxapex. And we're just going to haze away that attack boost and that speed boost right there. Um, so we get rid of that. And honestly, I don't want to stay in. Toxapex is not going to live another Earthquake. So we have to switch out here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead, bring in Superior, predicting maybe another Earthquake. Um, Toxapex is a huge problem for my opponent. So if my opponent can get rid of Toxapex, um, that's going to be a problem for me. However, my opponent actually goes for a Dragon Dance here. Um, I guess predicting me to switch. Um, but I'm going to go for a Leaf Storm, and we miss. That Leaf Storm would have done really good damage. However, my opponent misses as well, so um, really, nothing really lost there. Um, my opponent's going to go ahead and bring in the Arbok um, to take the hit from the Leaf Storm. Of course, the Intimidate's going to boost our attack. That doesn't matter, because we have no physical attacks on this superior. I'm going to get that Leaf Storm off on the Arbok, and um, it looks like a three hit KO. However, I don't want to stay in. I need superior, especially for my opponent's water types. Um, I'm going to bring in Hippowdon. Hippowdon is a very bulky Pokemon. Um, I've been wanting to use this thing for a while, so I'm going to bring it here. Um, we actually see Acid Spray on the Arbok, which is actually interesting. Um, most Arboks I see are physical attackers, um, but this one seems to be maybe um, like a, more of a support set with Acid Spray to lower the special defense. Um, and we're going to see Wrap here, um, which also is really cool, I guess. Um, it's going to trap us in here, um, and my opponent's probably trying to get that special um, stat reduction. I'm going to go ahead and bring in some Stealth Rocks here. Um, Stealth Rocks is very good, especially with that Gyarados. Um, well, it would have been especially well uh, back when it was a flying type, but we need some chip damage on it. We need chip damage on certain things, um, even that Milotic. Um, so if we can get some chip damage, that would be great. Um, another Acid Spray, um, but we're still taking that very well. And honestly, as soon as our box switches out or is taken out, uh, we can switch. I'm going to go Whirlwind here, and that's going to actually take that out and bring in the Sakura, aka the Milotic. We're going to get some nice Stealth Rock damage here, um, you know, to chip it off and get some Sandstorm damage too. We're going to see the leftovers, so of course it's going to be a little bit tougher to take out. And of course most Milotics run Recover, 
So we need to do a lot of damage to this thing. Um, my opponent's going to go ahead and switch out that um, Milotic and bring in the Dragalgy here. Um, and yeah, Dragalgy is kind of a threatening mon. It's usually bulky. I still really haven't seen anything um, telling me if this is a more bulky set or not. I actually went Toxapex expecting maybe a water move like Scald or something, but um, Dragalgy is here. And honestly, Toxapex is still pretty decent against the Dragalgy. Um, so I'm going to make a switch here though, because honestly, Dragalgy probably has like Draco Meteor or something. I, I'm not totally sure what it has. I'm going to go into my Garchomp though, just in case maybe, um, you know, it doesn't have something like that. However, we're going to get hit with a Draconium Z. So honestly, I probably should have uh, went with my gut instinct and decided not to go into this. Um, but we're going to lose Garchomp here. Um, I don't know what move that's boosted by, but it's going to destroy Garchomp. And Garchomp would have been very nice to keep. Um, that was even a crit too, so unfortunately for us, uh, we lose Garchomp. But honestly, uh, that's okay. We're going to go back into Hippowdon here. Um, Hippowdon can set up the Sandstorm once again. Um, and Hippowdon should be able to take hits from this thing um, decently. Probably not the greatest. Um, because Hippowdon does have more physical defense than special defense. But we can still do some good damage. So now the Arbok comes back in. It's got that Intimidate. And we're just going to go ahead. EQ here. That would have done good damage to the Degrowgy. But it also will take out Arbok. So um, that will be a dead Arbok right there. So now we just get some leftover recovery on Hippowdon. Hippowdon the crazy, the bulky, the wonderful. But Superior comes in, and honestly, I cannot touch Superior with my Hippowdon. This thing hits hard, um, and it can boost itself. Of course, I could Whirlwind, but that would be after taking nasty damage. And I do have a Heatran right here, um, and we, we're going to see a Hidden Power. Most of these have Hidden Power Fire, but we're actually going to see Hidden Power Ground so yeah, that's going to do a lot of damage to Heatran, and I cannot stay in at all. I have to switch out. So we're going to bring our own superior back in. Um, I do see that there's no real way that this thing could do that much damage to my superior. We've already seen Hidden Power Ground, um, and we know it's got Leaf Storm. However, it still does have some other moves, I'm not totally sure. But honestly, I think my superior is a good um, counter to this, because I have Hidden Power Fire on my superior. Um, we're going to see the Milotic make a return. My opponent is predicting that Hidden Power Fire right there. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and substitute because from behind a sub, I can do a lot of work. So let's go ahead, get that substitute up and watch this thing get chipped down by the Sandstorm. And we do have Leaf Storm. Leaf Storm will be very wonderful against this Milotic here. So from behind the substitute, I have no reason not to click Leaf Storm. Even if my opponent makes a switch, I can still get that stat boost. Um, however, we do see the Protect on the Milotic. So really, this Milotic wanting to see what we go for. Um, the Sandstorm is going to stop. And of course, that means Milotic's not getting any more chip damage, but Superior's not getting any more chip damage. Um, so that's actually pretty nice there. Um, so here, I'm going to go Leech Seed. I don't know exactly what my opponent wants to do, but this will punish my opponent if he protects next turn um, and that way if my opponent breaks my sub I can always set up a substitute next turn uh, when my opponent is probably predicting a leaf storm um, so we're going to take a scald and we do not lose our substitute there so we still have this nice substitute here um, backing us up um, however my opponent's going to get a little bit of health back but we're going to get some more health um, with that leech seed and that's really what I needed um, I really need superior to be good health because superior is very critical in this. I'm going to go Leaf Storm um, if my opponent protects. Of course, my opponent loses some health. Um, however, my opponent does not protect this turn, and we do connect, which means we get that nice stat boost right there. Um, and my opponent's going to go ahead and go for a Dragon Tail. Um, of course, Dragon Tail usually forces you to switch out, but since I'm behind the substitute, um, we're going to still be in here. Um, so my opponent can either protect and I can easily get another substitute since I'm back up to full health. Um, or my opponent could try to make a switch or just, you know, predict me to set up a sub and try to Dragon Tail once again. Um, I'm going to go for that substitute. I could see my opponent going for a Protect here. Um, however, my opponent actually goes for that Dragon Tail here, predicting my Protect. 
um, or maybe even hoping that I miss. However, uh, my opponent actually gets a crit, and we're still behind the sub, so that just gives you an idea of how um, how much bulk Superior actually has. It's actually kind of surprising how bulky Superior is, and it is pretty fast. And if you get some Leaf Storms, its special attack is going to rip through most teams. Um, so here we are behind the sub, and I can easily go for another Leaf Storm, and that's going to connect, take out the Milotic here, and of course we're going to be at plus four. So we're looking really good. Um, you know, without that Milotic, that's going to make things a little bit easier. However, my opponent still has the Gyarados, so we really need to handle that Gyarados once time comes. Um, and will come the Dragalge, and really, Superior cannot touch Dragalge at all. Um, but I can set up a Leech Seed, and whatever I bring in will be able to get some more health over time. Um, of course, this Dragalge is just going to go for a Sludge Wave, break my substitute, um, and honestly, there's not much I can do about that. A Leaf Storm is quad resisted by this thing. This is a Poison Dragon type, um, and and Power Fire is not going to be doing much because it's resisted as well, um, that Dragon Typing. So I'm going to go ahead and switch. We do have the Leech Seed on this thing. I'm going to go into Heatran here. Um, I'm predicting maybe another Poison type move as we do see the Sludge Wave once again. And we're going to get a little bit of health back, which is actually very nice here. Um, so Heatran looking pretty good right now. Um, I'm going to Taunt. Uh, I don't know exactly what this thing wants to go for, but I could see it going for like um, Toxic Spikes maybe. Um, but we do see a Focused Blast. So a Focused Blast does connect. It's usually a move that misses, but with that connect, we lose Heatran, uh, which isn't the worst thing. Um, and right now, I think my best way of taking care of Dragalge is actually to go into my Tapu Koko. I do have Hidden Power Ice, and this Dragalge has taken some significant damage. Um, so hopefully, the Hidden Power Ice will be enough and it will be enough. So, um, even that was even a crit, too. I don't know if crit mattered. Um, I know Dragalges a lot of time are especially defensive. Um, however, that one seemed to be more of an offensive set. Um, so we will take that out. And Superior comes in. And like I said, if you're not careful about Superior, it will set up on you. And it will sweep entire teams. And we're going to take a nasty Leaf Storm right there. Um, I'm going to U-turn, that does super effective damage, and that means we still have a little bit of momentum. Um, and we are slower, so that means whatever comes in is not going to have to take um, that much damage. And we're going to go into Superior. Like I said before, we've already seen Leaf Storm and Hidden Power Ground. There's not much that this, this Superior can really do to us. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and take that. We don't take it as well as I'd hope, honestly. Uh, but I can just fire back with a Hidden Power Fire, and that will be enough from that range. So, um, Superior versus Superior, um, the one with Hidden Power Fire defeats the one with Hidden Power Ground. Um, however, that's actually really cool. That is a really good counter to um, Heatran, um, that Hidden Power Ground. Um, here we're going to see Gyarados, and really, my best opportunity to take this thing out is the Superior. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, go for that Leaf Storm, and this time we do connect, which is actually very nice. Um, of course, we're not going to take it out with one hit, because Mega Gyarados actually has really good special defense. Um, and we're going to take an Ice Fang, um, but we actually live. However, we're actually frozen by that. So that's actually kind of unfortunate. Superior would have easily, easily taken this thing out with one more Leaf Storm. But with that, we're going to watch Superior not be able to do anything in the face of this Gyarados Dragon Dancing. Um, even Hidden Power Fire is not going to thaw us out, so really, uh, we're going to have to watch out because Gyarados is setting up, and it's honestly a big threat, whereas we were about to get a nice victory. I have to switch out this thing. If it sets up too much, it can just run through my entire team. And really, I think my best opportunity is to set up the Sandstream and chip this thing away enough each turn um, that eventually it will go down. And I think that's my only way of winning this because um, if it was down to, you know, one, this Gyarados versus the rest of my team, this Gyarados will be able to sweep me. Um, but we have to bring in Hippout on here, um, mainly, you know, to go ahead, set up the Sandstream. And I'm going to go ahead and switch it out, um, bring in the Tapu Koko to sack it off. Really, that's all that I can do is just sack everything off one by one. Um, and hopefully that 
you know, if I bring back the hip pout on, if, you know, I need to, it will be fine. Um, we're going to take an Ice Fang. We're going to go down to the Ice Fang. There's not much else we can really do. Um, and the Gyarados is here, ready to destroy us. Here, I'm going to send out Toxapex just to sack it off as well. Um, really, the only way that we're winning this is with the Sandstorm. And luckily, one more turn of Sandstorm will be enough for that Gyarados. So good game rips winter. This actually got a little too close for my comfort um, because, you know, this thing was setting up and it froze my only counter to it. So with that, we were able to come back and win with the Poudon. So if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I will see you in the next Pokemon video.